Hello everyone and welcome to the Kenny Wallace Show. Brought to you by Jake's right there. That big <laughs> yellow logo. <laughs> the leader in high performance aftermarket car parts and remember to go to jegs.com. I love Jegs. They're, they're a lot of fun. So today we're going to talk about something very taboo. Oh, Herman, what is it? Well, we know in life that you always want to know what everybody makes. And I always say, stay your lane, do your own deal. Don't pay attention to everybody else. But workers that work next to each other, we always say, when you're working, right, don't you always wonder what your fellow worker is making? Is he making more money than me? Because if he is, that's not right. And that, my friends, is where unions started. Unions, right? I got money for the end of my life, I got insurance, and I got it going on. So that is where we're going today. Today, we're gonna tell you what everybody makes in racing. Now, here's the disclaimer. I control my own life. I write my own checks. I have investors. I have CPAs and accountants. So the Herminator, although I seem a little silly at times, <laughs> I control my own money. I control my own destiny. And yes, sometimes we put ourselves in position, right? You gotta go out and do. You can't sit at home on the couch. You gotta go out and do, put yourself in position to live the very best life you can. Remember when we were kids? I haven't heard of marbles in ages. Marbles. You have 100 marbles, and there's that one kid that wants all the marbles. It's like, Jesus, can I, can I have one or two marbles? That's life. Everybody has, there's 100 marbles, and everybody wants the most marbles. So we can do what is so addicting in life. Run these old race cars. I got to show you something real quick. It wasn't so long ago these tires were like $130, $140. So now these tires are $200 a piece. I work very hard on these tires. I do that stuff myself. So yesterday I, I mounted my tires up, I grooved, I grind them, and I run my tires, I run my tires as long as I can, all right? I run them, and then I flip them, and I, I get all the good off of them. I get all the good off my tires so we don't waste money. However, today we are going to de-bullshit money in racing. I'm gonna do that for you. Because a lot of you, although I love you, you don't have a clue. <laughs> All right. Number one, come here, Charlie. It's called show and tell. All right. You see all these sponsors? Every one of these sponsors. We're gonna go all the way down here. All these people, all these decals, every single one of these decals. I mean all of them, every one. Okay, without those people, I am not racing, okay? That's number one. If you're gonna race, you have to find a sponsor, all right? You might have a car owner. So when we race, there's only one division. I'm de-bullshitting this right now. There's only one division where you can make a living. It's the NASCAR Cup Series. The NASCAR logo, Cup Xfinity Truck. That's it, okay? That's the only area that you're gonna make a living, and that's called making it to the big time. If you make it to Major League Baseball, you make it to the NFL, that means you made it, okay? But you are not gonna make a living running the World of Outlaw Sprint Cars, World of Outlaw Late Models, Lucas Oil Late Models, okay? You have to have sponsors or a wealthy car owner. The end. Now, it's time to tell you all some numbers. Once again, the Herminator got notes, got notes. So now we know we're gonna start with dirt cars right away. So we know that Jonathan Davenport makes about 40%, okay? He won $129,000 at the dream over the weekend. 129,000 times 
Jonathan Davenport and his wife took back to Georgia for his checking book. Okay, that's what Jonathan Davenport took back. Now, here's one thing that I want all of you to understand. That is so rare. Jonathan Davenport has made most of his money at Eldora, and we all know that. Brandon Overton rattled off some, some good figures up there at Eldora. There are racetracks that can make you or break you. So we're gonna put the big ones, we're gonna take the granddaddies and we're gonna put them over here. We're not gonna pay attention to Eldora. We're not gonna pay attention to Knoxville. We're gonna pay attention to the grinding in the middle of race season. So we're gonna go with the world of outlaw late models. Now, we know for a fact if you win a World of Outlaw late model race, $10,000, all right? $10,000 to win a normal World of Outlaw late model race. Dirt, super late model race, we know that. And we know that most drivers get, let's say 30%, 35, let's go with 35, times 35% equal, $3,500. Your driver, oh my God, he's the greatest driver of all time. Bobby Pierce won $10,000, oh! That's what he got, okay? Now, I know that's a family-run company, but if you're Nick Hoffman, if you're Jonathan Davenport, we're gonna shoot at 35%, okay? Because we know that's the middle of the road. We know that if you don't do anything, and you just show up and drive the car, you're gonna make 25, 30%. Because you don't do nothing, all you do is drive the car. You're gonna make 25 to 30%, okay? If you don't do nothing. However, if you drive the truck and trailer, and you do everything, and the car goes, man, you're saving me a lot of money. You do everything, I'm gonna give you 40, 50%. So, once again, 10,000 to win, $3,500, right? Now, okay. Let's say, let's say, uh, well, I can't, I can't make it on that. You know, it's hard. I, I, I'm winning everything. A lot of people say, well, don't you get a base salary? The World of Outlaw Late Models, nobody gets a base salary. They race off of percentages only. But we don't win all the time. We're going to go to fifth spot, right? So we know that if you run fifth, in a World of Outlaw late model race, you're going to get about, you know, you're going to be lucky if you make $750, right? So we're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to get rain out. So we're going to go 48, 48 nights, 48 nights World of Outlaw late model racing times $750 because you run fifth. That's what you made for the whole year. That's a shocking blow. So if you run 48 races in the big time and you run fifth, you're gonna get about $750. Pays 10 grand to win, drops so quick it's unreal. 10 grand to win, way down. So if you run fifth, okay, we're gonna give you $750 times, you're gonna get 36,000 a year. Now, I've done my due diligence. One of my dear friends that knows it all, Says, Herman, if you make $160,000 a year as a driver, you've robbed the kitty. <laughs> so that's a look inside the world of outlaw late models at what kind of money these guys are making. Now, you cannot pay attention to Jonathan Davenport. I'm telling you the good, Jonathan Davenport. I'm telling you bad, and I'm telling you the ugly, right? So Jonathan Davenport won two million last year. He probably took home about, gosh, 800,000, right? He make two million a year, 50% is a million, right? He's gonna say he's making 40%. Jonathan Davenport probably won 800,000 last year. But that's Jonathan Davenport and that one race, the million paid $1 million. This is why we gotta have sponsors. You cannot race without sugar daddies. Sugar daddies are people that have businesses like Hoker Trucking, Allgaier, down there in El Campo, Texas, 
We need people that know how to make a living so we can do what we want to do. This is a disease. This is not real life, okay? On the Joey Logano, Kenny conversation, Joey Logano said, this is fake. And he's right. This is not how you really make a living. Let's take Nick Hoffman. Nick Hoffman makes a real living. He builds race cars. That's called a real living. When we race this, I mean, there's some guys that are going to make it. But for the most part, you're not, you're not going to see Jack Hewitt retire in the Bahamas, okay? You're, you're not going to see these guys, oh, I got my 401k. There ain't none of that. This is a vagabond type racing. Dirt racing is a vagabond type racing. You need sponsors. You need wealthy people, okay? Now, let me break down a little something else for you about the world of outlaws. If you sign up for the Platinum and you go, hey, I'm going to run all the World of Outlaw races, which is fantastic, you get a check for $2,500 every, every month. Here's the big thing. Here's the big thing you need to remember. Over 90% of the races, if you are the driver and you finish fifth, you are going to make about $2,500. And then you get 40% of that. That's where we come up with that $750. Okay but the driver will get about $750. So if you run the World of Outlaw Lake Models, there's no base salaries. However, if you sign up for the Platinum, the World of Outlaw, they give you, they give you four free pit passes and a $2,500 uh, a month. So that, that's a big deal, that goes a long way. All right, that's the World of Outlaw Lake Models. Let's go to, now what, what are your questions? What are your bullshit questions? Oh, what is it? No, stop. Hermator's getting upset because you're going to tell me something that I already know because I pay for all this, okay? And I know everybody. You know, there's an old saying, be careful what you see on TV. It's not as pretty as it, it looks, right? Oh, I want to be a crew member. Well, go be a crew member. You, you'll, be, you'll be selling your tools right away and moving back to your home. I see it all the time. This stuff is fun. Fun from afar, okay? Not everybody, not everybody's a Herminator. I work my ass off in here, make these, these videos, and it's, it's a lot of fun, but I like to educate people. Okay, now we've done the World of Outlaw Lake Models. I've de-bullshitted that for you. You're gonna maybe make $36,000 a year. If you have the year of your life, you're gonna make about 160,000. Boy, that's, 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 it for, that's a really good year, okay? course you got bills all of you tell me that oh my god me and my me and my husband me and my wife we got to make 150,000 a year we live in this little subdivision home and if we don't make 150,000 a year we can't survive well think about a race car guy it's got to have disability insurance he's on the road spending gas so there's no money to be made in racing it's a vagabond life and there I said it okay because I know I don't mean to be such a smart ass. I just get mad when people think they know and they're going to tell me. They don't know. All right. World of Outlaw Sprint Cars. Woo! Eh. All right. Mind you, these motors in the World of Outlaw Late Models are 60 to 70 grand a pop. All right. These drivers drive for 50%. And they, need, they, they deserve more than that because they cheat death. Um, World of Outlaw... Uh, Sprint car guys, they get um, they get five free pit passes, and they get five hundred dollars per night for the platinum. So the world of outlaw sprint car guys with the wings, when they show up, they get five hundred dollars. Thank you for coming. You signed up, kind of like this is union. You're coming to every race. You're part of the union. You show up at every race. You get five hundred dollars. You get five free pit passes. Have you, have you ever bought one pit pass? They're $50. So, you know, that's a, that's a big deal. That's $250 a night. And then, so that's about $750, right? So you get to $500 and you get $250 worth of pit pass. That's, so the World of Outlaw Sprint Cars give you $750. That'll help you get up and down the road. Now, mind you, we just blew a motor up because the track's hooked up. We got the wing at full tilt. And we're pulling the guts out of this motor, and we just spent 70 grand on this motor to try to win Knoxville. Thank God we have wealthy car owners. Um, so the World of Outlaw 
late models, sprint cars, uh, they're kind of the same, but you, you just have to look at the vagabond lifestyle, right? How they go about it. Okay, now there's a theory that I wanna do that. Okay, and if I had this money, well, listen, none of us got any money. Once again, it's my sponsors. Without these sponsors, I don't race. Because I'll be honest with you, I have grandbabies, I have daughters. I mean, you know, th these sponsors, I mean, add them all up, right? By God, we're de bullshitting things here, right? Without these people, without these people, we don't race. Now, I know there's going to be some locals going, well, I'll spend all my own money. Well, you're a dumbass. <laughs> I mean, I did that when I was a kid. I spent my own money when I was a kid. And I went down to people's subdivisions and stole their soda bottles, take them on my bicycle, rode up. But I'm 60 now. I don't spend my family money anymore. I'm mad because I went through all that. I, 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 I went and got, when they used to balance tires with little lead weights, I wanted the child's tire up in Old Fallon. I, I grabbed the tire weights, I melted them down. That was my lead. You don't know what broke is, you think you do. You think you know. Okay, now we're gonna go, now we're gonna go to NASCAR. And in the end, stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you where I made my money. <laughs> oh boy, okay, so. Right here, if you run the, in the Xfinity series, you're gonna make anywhere between 250,000 to 400,000 a year. Not very much, because remember, you're an independent contractor. Out of that 250 to 400,000 that you make, you gotta, you gotta show that team that you have your own disability, you, workman's comp, because you're gonna get paid all your money, it's gonna be up to you to take out your own taxes and buy your own insurance. These race teams, these Xfinity teams, they do nothing for you. All you get to do is drive the car. They're gonna give you a gross check and you end up making it net and paying you know, all your social security. You do all that yourself. You have your CPA, your account, do all that. So Kenny Wallace Racing Incorporated, I get a check and you know, I gotta do it all, right? So I gotta have a CPA account, gotta have my disability, my workman's comp, uh, pay my taxes. So anyway, 250,000 to 400,000, you're living a dream. You're hoping to make it to the Cup Series. All right, here we go. We're, we're gonna skip the trucks because I don't know too much about them. We're gonna go right to the Cup Series. In the Cup Series, now this is where you make a living. You're gonna make anywhere between 750,000 up to 8 million. Okay, now I do know three drivers that make seven or eight million dollars, so, uh, Chase Elliott makes about $7 million. Uh, we know that Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch make about $8 million. So it's very easy to find out. The drivers that have their own sponsorship, like FedEx, wow, he's got a real sponsor. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, don't let Eric, Eric Armarola will fool you. The Smithfield, that's his sponsor. They like him. Any car that's got a consistent sponsor, those are, gonna, those are gonna make the money. Or you gotta be a Kyle Busch or a Kyle Larson, okay? If you have natural talent and you know you're gonna win, they are gonna find the money to keep you. Okay, so let's, let's go with Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott makes seven million a year, okay? That's what he's gonna make. That is a base salary. They're gonna pay you every quarter, every, every month, excuse me. You're gonna get a check, seven million. What is he gonna get, about 800,000? A month, you do the math. So, now, here's the deal. Chase could have easily made 11 million, but he got hurt, right? Then he got suspended. So, Chase still gonna make seven million, gonna make a little more depending how, how his year ends up. Does he win a race? That, that's the, the difference between seven and 11. You know, you go, well, once you get up into those figures, then eight, yes it is, it's still a big deal. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, four million dollars. Him breaking that leg, you know, and when they say, oh, you should be able to do whatever you want to do. Well, I get that. But, you know, Chase breaking is, I love Chase. Good friend of mine, good guy. I always, I always throw that in there so you know. You know, I talk to Chase. I like him. But $4 million on the line breaking that leg. Now, he's got disability insurance. 
that does cover anything in life. But if you buy disability insurance, sometimes they want a list. Was skiing on his disability insurance, was it? He says, sometimes if, if that is not on that list, so when you get disability insurance, they go, tell us where you're running. If, if it's not on that, that list, you don't get that money. Okay, so hopefully I broke down and de-bullshit a lot. The world of outlaw late models was something that I really wanted to get into because although we love it, I love it, but some people just don't get it, okay? It is a vagabond lifestyle. Those guys are in those toter homes. Yes, they're a million, two million dollars, but those guys smell like ass. They're guys all piled in that damn thing. It's, it's, I've seen them, like, get me out of here. You know, after two days, it's like, ugh. You know, they use this, oh, it's, it's nasty. So, okay, you think it's awesome, we'll go do it. And you won't do it, because nobody hardly does do it. They get on the road for about three days in the middle of the summer, and like, oh, man, this was a blast, but I'm going back home. So, uh, I think I've told you everything, except where did I make all my money? It's, if, I, if I'm gonna tell everybody the taboo subject, I guess I've gotta tell you where I made my money. So I'm gonna be very honest with you. So when I raced in the NASCAR Cup Series, I made very good money. Uh, I give motivational speeches. Um, I do a lot of things, right? I'm a mover and shaker. I made good money and I got into real estate. I took that NASCAR money and I bought a lot of real estate. Now I'm not gonna tell you exactly what kind of real estate, but I bought real estate. And then I decided that Kim and my, myself wanted to move back to St. Louis. And all my real estate was in North Carolina. Now I told this to Michael Rigsby. You know, okay, I think that's dirt on dirt, whatever his podcast is there. This story has been told. It's not a taboo story. When we decided to move back here, I took all that money that I had in real estate and I sold it. And I sold it to a very famous race car driver, okay? And I had already saved some money. But I took that money and I found a really good investor on the north side of Chicago. One day, if you corner me, I'll tell you who he is. But this guy's very good. He's, uh, he, he's the real deal. And I cashed out. I sold all my, all my real estate right? And I invested in the stock market. <laughs> and guess what happened? Remember when Bill Elliott said, it's all about timing and circumstances? Donald Trump became your president and the stock market went from 19 to where it's at today, 34,000. So I put my money in at 19 and it's at 34. That's one of the biggest gains you'll ever see in the history of the stock market. I got very lucky. Timing and circumstances, all right? That's where I made my money, not in racing. So you take your money. If you watch the Kenny conversation with Joey Logano, all right? You gotta do it the real way, all right? That's what I tell Gordy Gundaker, his family. Gundaker, Better Homes and Gardens, right here. Gundaker Realtors, all right? Realtors, Realty, Land. That's where it's at. Nick Hoffman, very proud of him. He has a chassis company. If you think you're going to make a living doing this, this is what we love to do. You're not going to do, make a living doing this. So I, uh, when, when I had to buy three motors for this at $30,000 a pop, <clears throat> all right. I hope I explained everything to you. Drop your comments right here. Go ahead and go at it with me because I know I'm a dumbass and you know everything. And remember, that was a totality of everything. Not your guy at your place, okay? We all know the bottom line is this. A good, dirt, super late model racer might make 40,000 a year. If he has a year of his life, he's gonna make about 160, all right? And if you're Jonathan Davenport, you struck gold. All right, everybody. Well, remember, we are in podcast form. Tune into iTunes, Spotify. Please like and subscribe here. We're having fun. And uh, hopefully you liked our view. We're at 108 wins now. 108 dirt wins. So uh, we keep the trophies up here. 
We keep the trophies up here to remind people. The reason I don't give my trophies away is because it's a good backdrop. I tell my friends, put your trophies behind you so people don't jack with you.